Grief through music. That's the message behind a show running now at the Snapple Theater in Midtown. And this morning, co creators Vinny Favalli and Frankie Keen are here to tell us all about it. This is the Hereafter musical. And Vinny, I want to start with you. Tell us what inspired this show because this is a very important story. It was uh, a random set of circumstances. Uh, a young boy, uh, DJ Wheeler, uh, died in 2003. He was, it was in my neighborhood, and I read about it in the paper. and, and about a week after it had happened, I was driving down the road taking my son to soccer practice when I saw this memorial tree, which was where the accident happened, and it's still there for all these years. And after driving by that tree every week, it just made me deal with the losses in my life. It was just a reminder, and it put me on this path. And Frankie, you're also one of the stars of this show. What is it like being a part of this show, and what is it like playing this role specifically? Uh, being a part of the show is just, it's a gift. You know, I get to work with amazing actors and actresses that are bringing our words to life. And, you know, after the show, when people come up to you and tell you that it really made a difference for them, it's, it's probably the most rewarding thing I've ever done. You're trying to spread a message for people who have either been through grief or maybe don't know what it's like right. to lose someone close to them. How does the show help people understand that? Well, when, when I had the losses in my life, um, I, you know, I went on a path of, and, and part of it involves going to psychics. You know, you'd like to think religion is going to help you get through stuff like this, but sadly, sometimes you find you try alternatives. So the whole show, the whole show takes place in the home of a psychic. Three women who are trying to reconcile the losses in their lives uh, are desperate, and they come together one December afternoon in hopes of making contact. And the psychic is hopefully the guy who's going to give them their answers. And uh, Frankie, I know you were saying that people sort of sometimes think there's an expiration on gr on grief, an expiration yeah. date on that. Uh, what what is it? What does the show send about that message? Well, I think it gives people the opportunity to be okay with revisiting those feelings that you have to kind of put aside really for the benefit of other people you know you don't want other people to feel sorry for you so you keep going like nothing's happening or or you really do explore those feelings and and have a tough time so this show i think helps people to identify those feelings and be able to be okay with that it's okay to still be sad about someone you've lost but also know that life goes on and your life still has a purpose well and for those who are afraid that they're going to be walking in here and just you know being in a tearjerker there are happy moments no, in this show too the show the show is actually it's, got it's funny lovely. It's yeah. got a lot of, actually, a lot of laughs. And people leave, they cry, albeit they cry, they're very happy when they leave because it's mm. very hopeful. It's a great message. And Vinny, you yeah. come from a broadcasting background. <laughs> what are you doing producing a show? How did you get into this? I've worked in comedy my entire life, and I I've resisted this. I didn't want to do it, but it just felt like a calling to, to pursue this. And I'm, I'm happy I did it. I'm very proud. And tell us a little bit about the rest of the cast, Frankie. I know you're the star of the show, but there are there some many people there's involved actually, in this production. Yeah, there's no star of, of the show. Everybody oh, that's in, no, I'm telling you, everyone's role is without the other actors, there's no show. It's a true ensemble. It's, it's a real true ensemble. Everybody has a significant role. Everybody, every character has an arc. You fall in love with each character. So, no, I'm just a facilitator. They are really, we are so blessed to have the people we work with. Well, congratulations to you both. I know Thank this was a you. long time in the making. Thank that you so Here much. After the Musical is running at the Snapple Theater in Midtown, and you can find ticket information on our website at cbsnewyork.com.